It's overcast, slightly humid, a chance of showers on the plains of Alabama. No preseason for the cookout and the tailgate. They are ready to roll. War Eagles and the fans of the Tigers visiting the plains of Alabama. From the plains of the West, it's Wyoming as we welcome you to the start of the college football weekend. And for that matter, the start of the college football season for us here at ESPN. Hi, everyone, along with Kirk Herbstreit, Lee Corso, Mike Tirico. This is season 22 of college football. As long as there's been an ESPN, there's been a college football season on ESPN. And we're glad to kick it off with two teams. I think the matchup is better than some people may see the headlines. Let's start with Auburn. 99 a year of transition, 2000. Maybe they can make a little run at the postseason, Kirk. Well, if you think about Auburn football, you think of great running backs, talented running backs. Although last year they couldn't get it going, they had one of the worst ground attacks in all of college football, averaging only 68 yards a game on the ground. Well, this past offseason, they've rededicated themselves, and they have a bigger back, the junior college transfer Rudy Johnson. This guy had phenomenal numbers this past season as a junior college player. Look at how many yards he had. Look at the average per carry, almost seven yards per carry, 47 touchdowns, including seven in a championship game. He knows what he to do once he gets the ball in his hands. He has great power. Now, look for Auburn in this game early to go after a smaller Wyoming defensive front, really pound them early, and then try to lure them in and go over top of them with the big pass. Good point, Kirk. I think you're absolutely right. But now when Wyoming has the football, they've got an offensive leader, number 11, Jay Stoner. Jay's a four-year starter at quarterback. He's thrown for over 6,000 yards and 27 touchdowns in his career. Last year, he hit 60% of his passes. He's the offensive captain. He's the leader. He was voted the preseason offensive player of the year in the Mountain West. Now, Mike, if Wyoming's going to win this football game, Jay Stoner has got to bring his A game. And what a start it would be to the head coaching career of that man. Vic Koning was the defensive coordinator here. First time he's ever been a head coach at any level in his entire 40-year life. On the opposite side, it's year two for Tommy Tuberville. Did a great job at Ole Miss. Now has come here to Auburn. They're expecting a winning season down here in 2000. First drive starts from the 28. Let's see what Rudy Johnson's made of. First time he touches the ball as a Tiger. 13 yards. I mean, they've been waiting for that all year. Yeah, nothing fancy here, Mike. Kind of an inside zone play. Nice block in the inside by number 44, Heath Evans. And then you can see how he's, he's very, very quick to the hole. And, he, and he's got great instinct and great vision. The key to that play, Kirk, was number 44, Heath e Evans, blocking that linebacker. After picking up 13, there's 87, Robert Johnson. He's the tight end near side of the screen. Just step back. There tries Johnson again. Ball came out. SEC officials working the game tonight. Wyoming indicating that they have the ball, and they do. A big turnover right away for the Cowboys. Damon Rourke, the junior from Bozeman, Montana, on the bottom of the pile. They come right out of the shoot, and they're going no huddle. Four wides, one back, second and two. Stoner goes right to work for Brock Brown. And he's got a first down. Wyoming will move the chains at the Auburn 21. Right now, Wyoming's coming out and they're throwing the football. And they're and they're spreading everybody out. You need to get to the 11 to keep the drive alive. Five in the pattern on third and three. Stoner has a first down. To the four-yard line, it goes to Matt Swanson, who is the backup quarterback. The junior out of Boise, Idaho, threw 127 passes last year. Three safeties out with an injury. Freshman Rashad Gilliard is in. Third and goal inside the three. Stoner got a block from Rich. Deflected. And it was intercepted. Alex Lincoln, the senior. of the defensive front. After a three-yard pickup, Laird to the air. Into coverage, but caught at the 31-yard line by Clifton Robinson, the senior out of Naples, Florida, who operates out of the slot. If he sees man-to-man -man with Ronnie Daniels, he will throw to Ronnie Daniels in one-on-one -on -one situations. 
Ronnie Daniels is 25 their wide receiver four receivers in the game and Auburn is so deep in receiver this year at the man coverage and it is Daniels Ronnie Daniels touchdown Tigers Rudy Johnson had an unbelievable junior college finale in the national championship game for junior college. He scored seven touchdowns in one game. That's why all the folks down here were all jacked up that he was a part of the Tiger offense. Laird looking long again. Why not? Tim Carter, the speedster, to the 26 yard line. 37 yards. First and 10 Auburn looking to add to a 7 0 lead on the season opener on Thursday night football. Fake to Johnson. The tight end, Johnson, touchdown. Darth Kaczynski is the fullback. And a nice little pattern again for McGuffey, who picked up nine yards, stepped out of bounds, but a first down at the 44. This point, when you get behind 14 nothing, psychologically, you want to try to get something on a scoreboard and don't go crazy. It's a nice drive because of that. That's a lateral. That's the backup quarterback. And that's Brett Ruff. Touchdown, Cowboys. The lateral backward pass to the backup quarterback, Swanson. He hit Brock Ralph, breaking free. You got to put up a few mirrors if you're going to come in and knock off one of the big guys. And Vic Koning puts six on the board. That's for sure. After Riddy Johnson's four-yard first down, it's first and ten. Leard has a man breaking open. It is Reggie Worthy to the 30-yard line. 25 first down yards for Laird, who is hitting on all cylinders, five of five for 166 yards. Out of the gun to get to the 10 for the first down. Clifton Robinson in motion. He works underneath well. Heath Evans right at the line. I think it's going to be. In Laramie, Wyoming, the high temperature was 69 degrees, the humidity 40%. When we kicked it off here tonight in Auburn, the temperature was 81 degrees, the humidity 85%. And they've got a cool snap here. Last week, when we go tonight, it was 101 degrees at 5:30. Caught a break, but it's still sticky, Doc. Great point. Did he say 40% humidity? Mm -hmm. I'm moving to Wyoming. Rudy Johnson. Remember, they signed a guy named Philip Yost. Wasn't it supposed right. to be the world's greatest kicker? Mm -hmm. right, right, there. right there. Five blocks away from here or something? Needs to get a haircut. Once he gets a haircut, <laughs> he should be the good kicker. But he has done nothing since he's been here, and they got to use right there. Look. You can tell he's a freshman, but tell him those days are out. It looks like your team out west. Oh, right? yeah, like I said. UCLA. <laughs> so nice to be back with you two. From the 20 yard line. Oh my goodness, he's getting up. He's okay. Rashard oh. Gillier. Wow. We're not saying. You watch. You listen. <laughs> it's nothing like getting your oh. helmet knocked off oh. and us oh. playing it back twice. Oh. And Brock Ralph is still out here at the bottom of your screen. Tough guy. 
second and ten. Tom Waring's punt. 37 yards. Clifton Robinson. Don't exactly know what was that. That what that was. But it gets it into Cowboy territory. It will be Auburn ball at the 43. He's the prototypical Auburn type of back who can carry the load and not get tired. First and ten. Run! Rudy Johnson! Touchdown! Tremendous football player right here. The thing I like about him is his power. You can see the arm tackles. That's not enough to bring him down. And also, he carried the ball 23 times, and he, he stayed fresh. And that's going to be key in the SEC. Only one fumble. Ronnie Brown lost it as he was fighting for the extra yards, and Wyoming has it at the 11. Ronnie Brown, Ronnie Brown just trying to fight for that extra yard, lost it. And Wyoming will take over in the red zone. Chance to get closer as they trail here by 21. See the Cowboys play at BYU and at Colorado State. The old bronze poop battle to wrap up the season at Fort Collins. That's going to be a great trip in November. First and 10 from the 12. Stoner. Ryan McGuffey. That's the first career touchdown for the redshirt freshman from Riverton, Wyoming. And mom and dad's trip worthwhile. They see their son's first touchdown pass of the senior season. It's not over yet. Damon Duvall to kick. He's been terrific tonight. It's not his best effort. McGuffey on the run. Oh, wow. That's, that's a pick that would make Keith Hernandez smile at first base. How'd he trap that? Not let it bounce off his foot and into an Auburn player's hands. A little scoop there. But what they need to do is try to get a first down, even if they have to go for it on fourth down, in my opinion. You'd go for it down here? Absolutely. Point in the game. Absolutely. Great catch. First down in Auburn territory at the 39 for Malcolm Floyd. 21 yards, and Floyd used his 6'6 height against Gilliard, who is under 6 feet. And Stoner put it up into the air where he knew he could take advantage of that size because of how big his wide receiver is when he's 6'6 and he can get up into the air. You see he put it right in a perfect position where Floyd can make that catch. From the Auburn 39, here's a run. Derek, Nate Scott, actually. Nate Scott's first carry. Bizarre time to see him in the game. First down. I That's love, the you're talking about. I love the call because it was a draw. That keeps those linemen who are rushing at the passer. If nothing else, it slows them down to allow you to throw the football. Great call. What do we say about Wyoming after you play them? Respect. First and ten. Stoner moving the chains. Ryan McGuffey there. Second and short. It's time to give Rusty Burns, the offensive coordinator, the new offensive coordinator, a lot of credit here because he's calling the right kind of plays. He's never panicked. He's got to move in the ball and make it first downs. Wyoming, full complement of timeouts. Nervous noise from the Jordan Hair crowd. First down. Floyd stepped out of bounds, but it's going to be first and goal, Wyoming. The clock has stopped inside of four minutes, and a 21-point lead is looking like it could be seven pretty soon. It's interesting. Even though they're picking up first downs, they're getting out, out of bounds. They, they, they feel that Auburn is on their heels right now. They're, they don't want to get into a huddle, even though the clock has stopped. 
They can't. They can't watch. <laughs> the trip from Colorado Springs is more worthwhile now, isn't it? Stoner flush. Touchdown! Ryan McGuffey's second. <laughs> and phone a friend. We've got a game. I say nothing, Chris Fowler. Look at body language, guys. Look at look at the Wyoming oh, yeah. sideline. They're all crowded by the white mark. They right. they want out. The Auburn guys are spread out. They're kind of back on their heels. Yeah, they're. Body language says so much in football. That's what's happening right now. It could change in one snap, though. Rudy Johnson. like that by an Auburn Tiger back <laughs> not in a few years <laughs> 35 21 Wow what a run 27 carries 174 yards the stoner parents can they, only <laughs> uh, they, oh, what can you say what can you say when well, the big fellow runs it through for 70 takes it to the house and puts Auburn back up by 14. Powerful. Remember, Sports Center follows our game in just a couple of minutes. Incomplete. And Auburn will take over on downs, and this game is in hand. Well, Auburn will go to 1-0. They will go to Ole Miss and then play LSU. Two SEC games, but they will do it knowing that they have a man who can run the football. This team is one of the worst running all year, all over the nation last year. But they had 174 yards from Rudy Johnson tonight. Beat Wyoming 35 21. With Lee and Kirk and Doc Mike Tirico, thanks for watching this presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Sports Center is next. Good night from Auburn, Alabama.